Tēnā koe, tēnā koutou. Greetings everyone. Hey, thanks for joining me for the Earth Prediction series. Using the Psy cards and the collective conscious um, philosophies of Carl Jung, that's how this prediction series works and it's indeed how these cards were devised. So I've done a little bit of shuffling with intent and let's draw the cards for the month of June for 2016 and see what's in store for Earth and the collective consciousness and all the people around. The sun, the beast, the body. This one doesn't come out very often, the body. The tower, whoops. <laughs> Friendship, and one more, the mother. We have a degree of um, a more gentle feeling for the month. Let me just rearrange my camera lens. So if we start with the first card on the left, the sun card, I think that brings us back to the feelings of connection with the sun and the energy that that particular celestial body delivers to our earth. We obviously can't survive without the sun, it gives us our every living energy. But sometimes when this card turns up it suggests that there may be um, more unusual energy coming from the sun such as more intense CMEs or so that's coronal mass ejections or maybe some large or unusual sunspot activity or coronal hole activity which when facing on the earth side of the disk and directing its energy towards us can create turbulence on earth in the way of magnetic or charged magnetic particles entering our atmosphere. So this can in turn create big storms, cyclonic storms or, or an enhanced fierce or strong weather patterns. It can also create auroras at both ends of the poles. It can um, give an increased amount of earthquake activity as well as volcanic activity. And if we look at the card right next to the sun we see that it is the beast card. Now the beast often gives us the feeling of underground energy and it's red and fiery looking as well. So again this ties into the energy of volcanic activity. So sometimes with the sun card right next to the beast there is this feeling that maybe we get an incre incremental action in our volcanic activity around the planet. Now in saying that we are already highly activated. There are so many active volcanoes going off right at the moment. So I think we certainly won't see a decrease in June and possibly an increase. These may be volcanoes already erupting or it may be a surge in new ones coming to life. This can also be undersea volcanic activity that um, is stirred up and brought to our attention as well. The other essence or energy that that beast card can have is um, other hidden and underground agenda, so also being stuck underground or in tunnels and sometimes I think of communist activity with communist countries or parties or leaders as well. And just going back to the sun briefly, we see in the sun card the children around the maypole and I know we have just been through the energy of May with the actual maypole day but we also see the energy of children um, reiterated in the mother card down here which suggests to me there's going to be something about children in the month of June that crops up that's brought to the international um, energies and brought to our attention one way or another. So this could be um, something negative to do with children or it could be groups of people standing up to get more children's awareness and protection and rights. So something along either of those along those lines is likely to be in the news one way or another. We go straight up from the mother card and look at the body card and again we're looking at specific kind of images of human beings. This card, the body card, is looking at the inner workings of of the body as opposed to the external. So sometimes I think of this as being about viruses or flus or um, things along those lines. So perhaps we're jumping into a month where we get 
either information about certain things that can attack our body system, whether it's the autoimmune or the endocrine or something along those lines, or viruses and bugs. So this could be the, uh, the Zika virus, or it could be even um, the superbug issue, which is a growing conundrum and is being brought to more and more people's attentions. It could just be a bad flu or virus going around that becomes um, quite a large outbreak somewhere. Another perspective of the body card is that it is a particularly unpleasant looking um, body without its skin on. So unfortunately sometimes this means there can be some really bad um, accidents where people are quite damaged or crushed. So crushing is a, is a theory or a thought that comes to mind with that card. We go to the next card and we see the tower card which is often has a feeling of Europe through it or up through that part where the earth and the civilizations and the history is older um, and this card also has that kind of feeling of older building and the look of older cultures around it and those two seem connected as well so oftentimes we think of buildings being affected so whether or not there's flooding or quakes involved it, that somehow these buildings are altered I often think too, if you look at the little um, barrels in the background of the friendship card, they are actually barrels of alcohol, but oftentimes they remind me of dynamites or explosives, so there could be something in the month of June about explosions, and I notice sometimes in um, places like China they have firework buildings that explode, you know, where they store fireworks, so this could be that type of thought, or alternatively it can be a message about drugs and alcohol one way or another. Now sometimes this card comes to light when sports players around the world are picked up for um, being caught using drugs in the wrong way. So that's another one to watch out for. And we come down to the last card, the mother card, and we see again the children energy which we have touched on before and also the female energy. So again we might have messages in the month of June that back up the female um, calls around the planet and or the children calls. So I have yet to expand much further on the mother card. The only other realm I sometimes connect it to is Mother Earth herself. So I think that the month of June is feels as though it's a more planetary month as opposed to space but that first card the sun card does give us the feeling of the sun and therefore things related to it so it can be also planetary lineups and it can be comets that come and go past the sun or things within our own local space area that we are noting or watching that have something to do with the sun connected to it as well so there we are guys, that is your reading for June. I hope you have enjoyed it and I really love when you leave your comments and thoughts and interpretations of the cards as well because this is an ongoing sort of progress of reading and we're all learning about the dynamics of how to interpret the card messages at the same time. So have a great June everyone. Ka kite noa, much aroha, namaste.